Hey guys, how's it going? It's right again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more videos. Today I'm going to do another video of Magic Leap, and the reason why I want to do a video today, and I'm really excited about it, is because Magic Leap actually changed their process. So the process includes changes to the way that we create projects in Unity, how we add different components that are going to allow us to create experiences. So we're going to go through some of those steps, some of the things that they added as part of the workflow, and then we're also going to be building an experience to our Magic Leap. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing in Unity, which is to basically create an example scene where we're going to be using the new Magic Leap workflow. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because the workflow changed quite a bit and I was going to do a video on hand tracking and it turns out that the workflow changed so much that I needed to learn about it. So I'm going to share that information with you. So the first thing that I want you to do is, of course, let's open up the Unity Hub and you can see that I created a Magic Leap full hand tracking because I was going to do this and I found out that I, I needed to learn the process. So that's what I'm going to do this right now. So let's go ahead and click on new. And just so you know, the version of Unity that I'm using right now is 2018.2.0 F1. And that's what Magic Leap recommends. They recommend that you use anything greater than or equal to 2018.2. So I'm going to select 3D and I'm going to basically name this Magic Leap Essentials. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to name, I'm going to basically select a location. So that's the location that I like. And then I'm going to hit Create. So this is going to create a new project and we should have basically everything that we need to get started. And just FYI, I, I really like to be that it wasn't as intuitive as it is right now. It used to, you have to basically install so many components before it makes so many tweaks. So I like their process a lot better now. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go into Unity and then let's go ahead and click on Preferences. And I want you to make sure that you have the SDK installed. If you don't have this SDK for Lumen install, all you need to do is basically go to their portal and then download the package manager. I already have it installed, so if I search for Magic Leap Package Manager, it's going to basically open it up. And you'll need to authenticate just like you authenticate when you go to their website. And then what you'll need to do is basically install the latest version of their SDK, which is 0.22.0. .0. Once you get it installed, you should have version 0.22.0 .0 installed. And in fact, it's going to give you something like this. So if I click on folder, it's going to take me to the location where the SDK is installed. So as you can see, I already installed it. But if you haven't installed it, you basically just click on install and then you'll get this in the file system. So once you have that going, then and you have the folder, make sure that you browse here. You can either type it in here or you can paste it or you can browse to that location. So once I have it, you'll see a warning going away. I think it actually looks like an error. And once you basically populate it, that will go away. So that's as far as what you can, what you need to do with the SDK. Then the next piece that we'll need to do is we're going to click on File, Build Settings, and we need to change this to be the Lumin. So we're going to select Lumin and then Switch Platform. It's going to give it a second here. And it's going to basically recompile our project and make it basically be ready for the, for the platform. All right, so now that that is done, I'm going to click on Add Open Scene because it's going to be the scene that we're going to be building. And then now we can close it. So the next thing that we'll need to do is something new to the workflow that I had to, I basically just went through the documentation and found it. But you got to go to Edit and then Project Settings. And then you'll need to go into the, let me see if I can find it here. Is Let me actually close out of this because we need to do one thing before we do that. Let's click on Window. And I'm basically doing this from memory, so that's why I, I didn't remember the right step. And then click on Advanced. So it used to be that you had to install an XR component, which I can show you what it was so that you know the XR Legacy Input help, Helper. I don't believe we need to install that anymore. So the new one that they provide you with is the XR management. And, and this was a little bit of a shocker because I didn't know what it was until I went through the documentation. 
but this is basically going to be uh, it, it, it says right here package to provide for simple management of XR plugins including magic lib so we're going to install that component so let's just click on install and it's just going to take a few seconds here once we have that going we're going to go to a new option that i that i discover also by going through the process all right so that wasn't that bad it was actually pretty pretty easy all right let's go ahead and wait until unity loads there we go now we can click out of it and then i believe the other option that we need to go through is let me see if i can find it here it's got to be under edit and project settings and oh there we go that's what i couldn't find it the other uh, before because we had to install the xr management so once you install the xr management you're going to see this option popping up in here which is called xr plugin management so we're going to click on that and then it's going to give you this new basically plugin management that i wasn't familiar with until now and you just got to click on the plus symbol download and it looks like they have this plugin management basically component that allows you to do either if you want to do the oculus if you want to do windows if you want to do google vr and also magic lip loader so we're going to click on magic lip loader and that's probably going to download and install and import looks like we're importing now just give it a few seconds there we go and it looks like it's basically importing into the com.unity there we go okay so now we should be good and you can see that we have the magic magic leap loader as one of the loaders then the other thing that we need to do is you're going to click on this pc mac and linux standalone settings and we're going to basically add that component because we're going to be working with in my case mac but if you were using windows you want to make sure that that loader is also loaded for windows so now you can see those two in there and in fact there's also magic leap settings which i haven't messed with so far so but i'm sure that we'll find some usage for those in the next upcoming video so for now we're just going to leave it alone and just close out of this all right so what is the next step the next step is to bring in the unity package that magically provides so we're going to go in into our package manager and then let's go ahead and click on unity package magic leap unity package i already downloaded but if you haven't downloaded you basically just have to select the latest version which is 0.22.0 that's what we're working with I'm going to click on folder so that it opens the unity package and then we're just going to right click actually double click on it so that it imports in the compress okay and then we're just going to click on import and that should get everything imported that we need for magic leap okay and it's going to give you this pop-up that says api update required we're just going to we're going to say i made a backup go ahead in our case this is just a sample scene so it doesn't matter if it messes it up or not so it's going to click on that and con to continue and let's just give it a few seconds so the idea that i have for for this demo is that we're going to basically have an earth magic leap has an earth model that i want to that i want to use for this demo so by the end of this video we should be able to see that and load it in our device so i'm gonna make some changes to the scene as this is getting loaded and then right after it gets loaded and then we're going to add a new model and then the camera and then we should be able to run that in our device so we should be done here in a few more seconds looks like it's importing all the magic leap examples and a couple more all right looks like it's now almost completed importing a small assets and it should be done here in a few seconds i said that before <laughs> all right so it looks like it's loaded now and everything so as you can see that's basically everything that we need to do to get the the unity project going and for those of you who know me by now i normally put these projects in github and i'm gonna do that again i'm gonna make this available in github so if you want to download it and try it on your device you can also use it to compare your settings with these project settings just to make sure that everything is okay all right so i think everything is good so what we're going to do next and this is something that you'll you'll do on every scene and every experience that you do for magic leap we're going to delete the camera that comes out of the box and we're going to add a camera that magic leap provides so we're going to go into their magic leap folder and then in here we should have a camera so let me just search for camera 
I don't remember exactly where it is. So it's supposed to be, it's actually an under assets, magic leap, core, prefabs. So we're just gonna drag it and drop it there. And not inside of the direct light, outside of the direct light. And then we're also gonna change everything to zero, zero, zero. And the rotation, I want it to be everything at zero, zero, zero. Make sure that you keep that clean. And then as you can see, that has a magic leap camera already associated. That's what we're using the prefab. Also a track post driver and also the magic leap scene optimizer. So you could do this manually if you like. I prefer to use what they have. So just to make sure that I don't mess with the core functionality. Okay, so now that we have that, we should be good to go. If I, if I go in here, this is basically, if I run this scene, I'm basically gonna see nothing. So we wanna make it more fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, let's see if we can find some examples in here. And I believe there's an earth, there we go. And this is the one that, let me just make sure that I want, that I select the one that has the component. So let me close out of this and let's go into their examples and I'm going to go into their prefabs. There we go. I wanna make sure that I select the prefab because it has everything that I need. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop this deep space. And let's just drag it right beneath the main camera. And as you can see, it's right on the camera. We don't want to be right on the camera, otherwise we're not gonna see anything. So let me move it, let me, let me just move it a little bit forward. Okay, so the camera is facing that way on the Z axis. So let's, let me make sure that I go right in front of it. And we can probably, we can probably get closer, just a tiny bit closer. So I'm just gonna say 0.6, I think it's fine. And then, there we go. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna start the experience and we're gonna see the earth basically rotating. So if I were to click on play right now, this is exactly what you're gonna see when you play the scene. So we're gonna see the earth is rotating and the cool thing is because Magic Leap is so powerful, we're gonna be able to use, to look at the occlusion and see how if we put, if we put our hands beneath it, behind it, we're gonna be able to see that our hands is behind it, we're gonna be able to see that our, our hand is in front of it. So. I think I'm happy with what I'm seeing right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename the scene. And because I wanna share it with you, let's actually say demo, or we can just say earth rotating. And we can just say, yep, reload it. Okay, I like things when they're names, when they're named because it's easy to recognize what they have. So let me make sure that build settings also has a rename. So it looks like it does. And the next thing that I wanna do is I want to make sure that I have the certificate assigned. If you wanna go through the process of creating a certificate and you haven't watched that video, make sure that you watch one of my videos in the Magic Leap playlist that shows you how to look, how to actually generate a certificate. So I already did that, so let's go ahead and select it. So if I go into, actually, let me do that again because I think I went too fast. So you wanna go into build settings and then player settings then I'm just gonna close out of this. And then we're gonna go into Magic Leap, which is what I have selected, and then Publishing Settings. And then I'm gonna click on the three dots. And then I'm gonna search for my certificate. And that one happens to be under Deal My Games, Magic Leap Certs. And I'm gonna select that one. So it should look like something like this. It's gonna have a cert, and then basically the location of your cert. On the company name, I'm just gonna change that. I don't want it to be just that default company name. I'm just gonna say Dilmer Games. And then the product name, Magic Leap Essentials. I think that works, I'm happy with that. The versioning, I'd like it to start at 1.000. And let me make sure that everything else looks fine. The version name, I'm also gonna change it to, Z, to be 1.000. And then I think I like the, the bundle identifiers, I like them to be lowercase, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make this lowercase, it's gonna be Dealer My Games and then Magic Leap Essentials. All right, I think everything there looks fine. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build it to my device. I already have it connected, so I'm just gonna go to Build Settings and then I'm gonna click on Build and then I'm gonna give it a name. So I want to put mine on the desktop and this one is gonna be Magic Leap Essentials. So that's gonna be the name of my project, hit Save and this is gonna compile, build, and then basically push to my device. So I'll show you how it looks on my device. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm running this on my device. So if I get close to the earth, so if I look at my hands, my hands are right here. If I'm behind it, it's actually 
basically do it on close gym really well. So this is basically what I wanted to show you. Everything is running. I'm going to stand up as well so you can see that the earth is running. But the main goal for this video was to show you that we can run it on our device and I think that was successful. So thank you very much guys. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you on the Magic Leap and also Unity, let me know through the comments and also be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. Either you're starting now or you're an advanced game developer, they have resources for you. And also find me on Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes. I'm also posting links to my GitHub repositories where you can download these projects and many other projects that I've been creating. So thank you very much guys.